What is this mirror matching bullshit? Life drain. Like, seriously, whose sassy lost child is this? Dio, she one of yours? Oh man, you missed it too. It was like the one time I've actually was able to get through everything without a problem. Huh. Cause I was able to actually quietly focus. Uh-huh. Well I was gonna say actually is like, you know, it might not be a bad idea to put pin in it, cause I already I still need to actually do um the other thing. Well no, not so much the other thing. Um I still need to edit your last set. But so, you did like, save it. Yeah, I saved it. Okay. But uh, like I said, like, you know, and I've got to mix that in with Don't Make Cry now somewhere, which that ought to be fun. Did you say something before I started? Yeah, you can just take it as a practice moment. You've been wanting to fuck practice as is, kind of thing. As Dolores continues to strike poses for, like, no reason. Yeah. I don't know, if you want to sit there and put a pin in for the night, we can sit there and just we'll fuck around and do whatever. <laughs> well, I'm already here, let me finish the fight at least. Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna take that away from you. Don't misunderstand. What is this? That's just trying to take things away from me? I mean, all I can. Yeah, you, know, you know me, I'm always just trying to fucking work my own angles. <laughs> So this team that leaves the better than your last one or no? A little bit better. Since they're brand new, I don't have to worry about like, oh geez, I don't know what I'm doing or whatever, because I obviously don't know what I'm doing. Or I can't remember. That was say it's less the you can't remember kind of thing. It's like it's less that I can't remember versus I have no idea what I'm doing with like the first two. Hitter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing with him at least remotely. Mm -hmm. Ah, she she got me, she she nabbed me out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, you got your Rolento guy with the red gloves. Enough of your Rolento nonsense. Yeah, I know. All 
advisor on the winner of that fierce fight. Winner! <laughs> yeah, this guy is unnecessarily ripped. Hmm. Where can I? Yeah, no, we can sit there and wind down with something else for a while. And then these fucking wrestlers show up again. God damn it. Gives you something to look forward to. These <sighs> goddamn wrestlers show up again. So, are you, are, you, are you trying to run the whole thing, or what are you doing? I'm running the whole thing. I said I'm going to finish the fight. Oh. Well, yes. I thought, you, I thought you meant literally that fight. I didn't say the round. I was going to say the fight. <laughs> Oh great, Olak showed up first. I'm the cream of the crop, the wizard that screw the swiggles at. Cause in Lord Loki's arena, Olak is the champ. Oh god, back wrapping. <laughs> well, if you can grab anywhere, it's, it's still a good grab. Got that flying hoof boot. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's kind of flexible for a guy his size. Did I say that every time I see Olaf flying at me? <laughs> and the flexible for a dude his size. Huh. <laughs> Thank God my shorts are quicker. <laughs> oh God, like you wouldn't believe. Although I think his shorts are even faster. Both <laughs> right, so you got you went to the Luigi school of flying. More or less, yes. <laughs> Viva Mexico! Deal over there. <laughs> well, she apparently she has a teleport that I'm... Okay, yeah, learning with. Mm. <laughs> you get guillotined over and over. Not trying, then. First wave it. Eh, eh. I don't hmm. think he cares. <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit. Yeah. Fucking flying guillotine. Boot to the head. <laughs> Guy. I distinctly remember wiping these creatures out. <laughs> Looking at the king of dinosaurs. What did you? That's good, that's good. And Butterfinger strike again. While we're here, you just can't win, can you? No, I cannot. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> As I die from it. Mm. Like, oh, so that's what that is. <laughs> me, me figuring out the uh, ground grab. Nope. Suddenly, it all makes sense. Like, oh yeah, Jesus! <laughs> hey, look, a dinosaur. Yeah. You say that now? I'm just sitting there, like thinking, it was like, we're back. A dinosaur story. <laughs> That's a good movie. It is not a good movie. I like it. I don't care what you say. It's a kid's movie, but it is a nonsensical kid's movie. 
I mean, so what's your point? Well, I agree. Not everything has to have a point makes sense, but... <laughs> like, the more I look at it, the more that movie just gets ridiculous. I mean, for the era of where it came from, I still like it. It is a fun movie. Mm. I don't care well, what you say, man. The, the, the biggest takeaway I ever got it was <laughs> Professor Screw Eye. And come on, I'm waiting for more. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me hanging, dude. <laughs> like, Professor Screw Eye. And come on, what's the rest of the story? Well, okay. So, like, uh, I watched the movie as a kid, and I liked the T-Rex character. He was probably my favorite character out of the whole movie. The kids were fucking annoying cunts throughout the entire movie. Dude! Uh, sorry, of course I have it. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the European version of that, to be clear. Hmm, he's not crap on my stream. Yeah, he, he keeps his language clean on his stream, but yeah, but on oh, mine... I do! I say the same thing on mine. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the kids were doing twerps. Let's go with that one. I mean, twat is also acceptable. It still counts as the same fucking thing. I know, it's weird. Anyway, that's why I stand by that's the European version of that. Um, like, I never liked the kids. I thought the kids were annoying even as a child. It's like, I don't care about these like I, like I wanted to know more about the the dinosaurs like the T-Rex was cool the Stegosaurus was cool I mean all of them it's like loved all of them you know something kind of messed up and hilarious about the um, whole st series in the, in the whole as a whole when they got to the parade scene you saw how he was interacting with um, the long neck dinosaur like the, yeah. the balloon he was yeah. there was actually supposed to be one of them in uh with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, Weird Back at Dinosaur Story was originally a children's book that got made into a children's movie. But yeah, it, I know that. Yeah, it had an actually a, at least one of each dinosaur in there, almost like um, Land Before Time. Mm -hmm. With exceptions. Yeah. Well, anyway. Um, then, like... I even like the message, and it's like, I forget what the, the good professor was. The Professor Light, or whatever the hell he was in the show. Um, but I like the message, even, where it was like, you know, hey, it's like, you know, we're, we're trying to educate people, make them smarter, and it's like, you know, don't let, let, let them feed off your negativity and fears. And then Professor Screw Eye comes along, and it's like, hold on, I'm gonna make an entire show about feeding off your, like, negativity and fear, and it's like, all right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my twin brother. You know, blah blah blah. Like, had, no, because back then, in like the late '80s, early '90s, there's a whole everything's an evil twin of something. I, I was half expecting to have like an evil mustache at that point. God, uh, what is up with that? Mm. Oh fuck. Anyway. But um, like, eh, like. Nowadays, when I'm older and as an adult, I look back on it and it's like, realistically, like, Professor Scribe would be seen as, seen as the normal one out of that whole thing. You know, just like, you know, taking advantage of something and trying to make a dime from it kind of thing. It's like, you know, let, let people live in fear and, you know, uh, work on like half a fucking to be uh, oh, news shit. base of like, you know, this is what it looks like, so we want to keep you scared and fucking, you know, under our own control. Yeah. Yeah, so Rule like, the world like, with fear. Nero before me. Yeah, I'm sitting there like, oh my god, it's Fox. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but, like, it's a kid, I'm sitting there watching this. Ah, like, uh, oh, the interaction this? between father and daughter. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's a nice little dude with you. I'm gonna beat your ass, Dad. <laughs> Show me that power that you're so proud of that you learned. <laughs> mm -hmm. But here was the kicker, like, I didn't really understand Professor Screw Eye, 
But like every scene he was in, like he stole the show. I wanted to see more of him. Like he had the Disney villain role to a T. <laughs> oh fuck. Like he almost actually like uh he kinda reminds me of um oh Professor or uh, Captain Ahab. Always gotta have the white whale there, Captain Ahab. No, no, no. Actually, uh, one of the things that people don't talk about Captain Ahab, other than his fixation on killing a white whale, was the the guy was actually a master showman. Uh, there's a part in the book where um, what the hell is it? it's um, it's something lightning. It's a nautical thing where Professor Ahab basically took this uh, nautical myth and basically turned it into his like personal little weapon and got his crew who was starting to like basically get unruly and was about to turn on him and took this seafaring lightning and was able to like harness it and like basically showed his crew like I can control lightning I can control you basically Ha! Joke's on you! You can't control shit! But, uh, he was a... He was a master showman, basically. He's and... a master baiter? Ha ha ha. Oh, we getting base. <laughs> but anyway, it's the... The fact is, like, you know, that showmanship just, like, showed so strongly with him, where it's like, holy shit, I can see why people would fall in order behind him now. Round one! Ready? Go! And of course, the, the end scene where he gets eaten by crows. That's fucking like, that was utterly terrifying. So. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, you wanna know a fun fact, Doss? Sure. You see the t you see the band in the background? Sure. Like right yeah, those are the actual those are um well, the people who actually did the um well song opening for um this game. The anime opening I showed you earlier. That's actually them singing it. They decided it's like, oh yeah, yeah, here's your fifteen minutes of fame just being in the background right here just because it's fun. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know I remember the term for the lightning I was referring to. It's St. Elmo's Fire. Oh, shit. And that bright ass, green ass, <laughs> lightning looking thing. Yeah. Um. Because, uh. Because the crew was able to, uh. Oh, shit. The crew, the crew was scared to death, uh. Because St. Elmo's Fire is a nautical myth, and I'm actually looking it up for the exact specifics of it. There we go. Found it. It's a weather phenomenon which uh, luminous uh, plasma is created by discharge from a rod-like object such as a mass fire chimney or animal horn. And it creates an electric field. Well, anyway, uh, in the book, memory serves, like, he had, like, a coal poker or something like that. Mm -hmm. It was able to draw the St. Elmo's fire onto the coal poker, so it looked like he literally controlled lightning. And since this crew is about to mutiny, it's like, they're not gonna fuck with somebody who can control lightning. <laughs> oh, God, he can control lightning. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that guy. That one guy, I'm still gonna. <laughs> okay, but now you gotta fight him and the crew. <laughs> but, uh. I ain't gotta yes. fight everybody, I'll just take the captain overboard with me. We <laughs> shall feed the sharks together! <laughs> well, the whale, but anyway. <laughs> I know what I said. But yeah, I said they only ever fixate on, you know, his mad obsession, which, man, is a big part of his character, but you said. There's, there's a lot of nuance that makes, you know, Captain Ahab actually a fairly intimidating creature all by himself. Oh, shit. Hey! <laughs> 
as we watch the highly digitized band in the background. <laughs> I know, right? It's so... Well, they're actually hyper-realistic, but... Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fucking hate Chris and his bullshit. Boot to the head. I'm about to blaze. The goddess of victory smiles upon the winner. Winner! Ooh. That reach, man. <laughs> Boot to the head. Mm. Uh, she's walking around with basically next to lingerie. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I actually kind of reminds me of the Mortal Kombat argument that was going on for MK11. Oh God, how these women cannot be dressed like this because it's too—it's too sexy. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Asian. Every time I saw Mortal Kombat ninjas up until Mortal Kombat Nine, they've always got mm. their clothes got skimpier. And skimpier, and like these, like well, female ninjas were a lot more prominent to well, female assassins. Excuse me, oh. were at least more um, prominent in most history that I'm uh, aware of. Because oh yeah. yeah, here's this hot chick wearing skimpy clothing. She totally can't have a weapon hidden somewhere. Ready? Mm. Yes, sir. Well, uh, what was it? Because so. Somebody went into like a breakdown on the designs between like MK9 and MK11. Which yes, I know they're, they're skipping a whole fucking game in there, but what? Bear with me for this. And they're like, alright, well this is like pre all that bullshit, and this is after the big change, basically, is what they were going for. And like, they actually broke it down on a fighting scale. It was like, alright. You know, does this actually have any merit to what you're saying? It's like, at least with this, like, comparison from, like, MK9, like, clothing that Katana and Jade wore was something that you could move around easily, and it didn't offer much protection, but on the flip side, you know, it makes you much more aware of your surroundings. Compared to, like, there's a costume that Jade is commonly, like, shown in, and she has a hood, which, like, destroys her per uh, peripheral vision. Mm-hmm. it's like, it's actually, no, you're going backwards. That's horrible to fight in. <laughs> it really is, because the hood is actually taken away from her. She won't be able to see much because of peripheral vision as a whole. Mm -hmm. You know, and... On top of that, like, there's a whole thing, it's like, they kind of come off as more as rogues, as, like, whenever you see a rogue, like, walking in, it's like, you generally keep an eye on them, and you're more wary of their actions, compared to, like, in MK9, where there's, like, they could easily have been mistaken for a harem, if you think they're part of a harem or something like that, then they can actually get much closer to you, and usually kill you a lot easier, so it's actually better for fighting. Like, it all requires context, of course, but, you know, generally the argument is oh, shit. to be has, like, it doesn't make sense from what they're saying. Especially, like, um, something like Katana, who, she uses air blast to stay airborne and move around freely, but then they put her in armor, which is heavy. Right? Because even though, like, oh yeah, she became technically queen at one point in yeah, there. I think she's still queen by the end of it. Mm. Because, uh, she is the con that united the people or some crap like that. Yeah. Which I still kind of have issues with. It's like, I don't have issues with her being a con. I have issues with the whole, like, uh... Doss, you just want anarchy. Be quiet. You're not wrong, but... Mm -hmm. No, the, the other one, um... Oh, what was he doing? Shao Kahn? No, the other one. Kotal. The other Kahn. Kotal Kahn, yeah. Kotal Kahn just kind of like... He got kind of just fucked, to be honest yeah, with Yeah, he got... You. Seriously, though. I like, walked into he's that. Brought in, he's a decent character. He's actually an interesting character. You got con on con action. Giggity. And he's like, I'm down. I'm down with all this. And then, like, you know, by the end of eleven, he's handicapped. He's like, I'm sorry, what? Ah, fuck it. Mm. 
So Give me that, that life. Work, you just did. All that good work you just did with this character? Yeah, we're gonna throw it away. Yeah, fuck that. Because they oh, gave hit on his life drain. I'm like, oh, you done fucked up now. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna get my life and meter back. And give me. Totally not gonna abuse that. Totally not her, her. <laughs> But I am interested where, like, Mortal Kombat will go from here, because, like... Oh, yeah, Mortal Kombat 12, where are we going to lead off with that? Well, I mean, MK12, like, if anything, it's like, it... MK11 just felt, like, kind of a sidestep, to be honest with you. It was a sidestep. It was all side quests. It was side quests the game of... That was supposed to be yeah. actual shit happening. Yeah, and, like, again, it's like... Like, a lot of shit just felt like filler, and it's like, why are we here? And it's like... And some of the designs were just worse. I mean, Devor in 10 looks good. Devor in 11 looks like crap. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, the star crossed lovers are about to actually just fight again. Just make out with her. Damn. Confess your feelings for him. We know you like each other. Mm. That's literally it. <laughs> That's literally her entire character arc. She likes him, but she has a funny way of showing actual feelings. So she's that kid that's like, I'm gonna punch the kid I like? Yes. Yes, she is. I believe that. Mm -hmm. She does actually strike me that way, to be honest with you. <laughs> so she's Angelica. Eh, uh, sure. If you wanna go that black and white about it. Yeah, it's not even that black and white, to be honest with you. And Joe is actually a fairly nuanced character from me out if you really look at it. Okay, I'll bite. What is your story, Doss? Uh, I, I didn't much care for Hayao, to be honest with you. I just, I, I've seen enough of Angelica from her. Helga Pataki is from Hey Arnold. Yeah. Angelica Helga is Pataki. from Rugrats. I was like, yeah. okay, where are you getting at with this there, man, Mr. Pumpkin Man? No, I was thinking Helga. Hmm. I told you, I'm not good at names. You are horrible with names. <laughs> hey, at least I can acknowledge it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> yeah, I know, Helga Pataki. From Hey Arnold. Like, mm -hmm. I hate him, but I love him so much. <laughs> Had the secret shrine towards Shune. I believe she would have that. That would be the <laughs> dumbest thing. Exactly. <laughs> Dio Dorio, like you both are. <laughs> like, I'm not, oh no, oh no, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I am shit with names. I can remember names to a degree. At a certain point, it just kind of goes out the window. This kid tried to throw his goddamn pillow at me. <laughs> Dude, do do give me your power. <laughs> Go to sleep, pal. <laughs> Sadly enough, I'm actually kind of feeling Dolores in, in, as a style of fighting. It goes on. Like, I kind of like her. Kind of works for me. Oh no, I found Gaia. Let's just hope she hasn't noticed I'm standing right next to her. Doesn't help her outfit, doesn't help. <laughs> Seriously, this chick's just. Like, she's just JoJo posing like the entire time, man. Yeah, Has Das's controller die over there? Oh, what's up, man? What's up, man? Who had Das's controller die in the bingo book? <laughs> we already got me accidental button presses. <laughs> Fucking Benny Maru. I am so sick of his fucking shit. Oh, come on, he was your lifeblood in that fucking round. Yeah, I know. Now you have to deal with it. <laughs> nice moves, Earth Chick. Don't you know, Earth beats lightning? <laughs> I think you mean lightning beats earth. No. 
Lightning stri- Well, uh, let's not get into like the whole weird elemental life chart thing, because that's a whole different argument that can- that can be had. Now ground moves win over super effective over lightning moves. Oh, you're talking about Pokemon standards. Oh, shit. Be specific what you're talking about, because... There's other media that says lightning beats earth, earth beats wind, and so on and so forth. Yeah. I, I know, I mean, even Yu-Gi-Oh! Better... Yu throws, Yu -Oh throws his hat in there too, which is even more confusing. Okay, the hat in Yu-Gi-Oh! is weird. Let's not get into that weird... Oh, fuck you, Benny. Fuck, he waited for me to press a button. He waited. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. He waited for me to press a button. Me to burn. I'm like, you. Fuck you, Benny. <laughs> but yeah. No, generally my go-to is Pokemon. Because, like, Pokemon at least makes sense. To a degree, <laughs> up until you add Fairy. Yeah, and with Yu-Gi-Oh, that game has had so many changes of various bullshit. Cause I'm more surprised. Like, oh yeah, we didn't follow the element chart of what beats what. I'm like, I'm kind of glad they didn't do that, cause that's a whole different problem to be had. Mm -hmm. But then again, it'd be easier way to beat shit out. Yeah, let's get them. Well, not to mention, every RPG has their own standard on that shit, too. Mm -hmm. So, like, one RPG is like, yeah, it's this way, and another RPG is like, no, it's this way, kind of thing. Or what's even worse is when they, like, rename the elements, and then you have to literally remember all the fucking names. I mean, they often name air as wind. Wind as air, or whatever. No, no, I'm talking, like, fucking, like, Weird name, so it's like, um, Shock and Zio. Excuse me, what? Yeah, it's a Persona thing. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know much of Persona. Damn it. I had Shuni on the ropes and he started beating my ass. But yeah, it's like, Shock is, uh, Zio. Or is it? Arrow is strong against ice types, yeah. Um, I think I'm mixing like Persona and yeah, no, that's that's Final Fantasy because I'm thinking Zero Ra and Zero Raga is like wait no that that's Final Fantasy. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, because I think it turns into Zyonga or something like that. Like, that's all like the shock, shock over two, shock over three kind of thing. Mm. And then, uh, Ice is Buku. What the fuck? I, this, I'm telling you, it's what it is. Oh my god. This, this is Persona slash Shin Megami. Like, this is how they work. Uh, healing is Dia, or Dia, however you want to phrase that one. Hmm. So, like, literally you have to learn, like, a half fucking, like, second language. It's like, what does this move do again? <laughs> and then they give you weird ones, too, where it's like, you know, then you get light and dark, where it's, uh... Hama is light, and then, um... Mudu is dark or death. Level three. Mm. I'm mad. I'm wasted on the sleepy boy. No, well, you're not really wasting. It's going to kill. It's going to kill, but it does a lot of damage. But I'm get mad. I'm wasting it on him. <laughs> well, once it kills, you're not wasting it. There's no such thing as over kill, man. But I wanted to do it on Benny Morrow, though. Mm. Did you? Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, don't try that shit with me. I know what I wanted. Come on, you got the type advantage. Technically, I do have the type advantage, which is weird. <laughs> Still guarded, but I had the lowest health. <laughs> should totally start belly dancing for no reason. Let's not get into that. <laughs> that's how kids. That's how babies are made. 
heard you say that, now I'm just sitting there thinking of, um... What's her name? Shanzu? Shanzu? Who? Uh, oh, she just had a game come out. Shira? No, it's not Shira. Shantae? Shantae! I had to literally just guess what you were talking about. <laughs> I had the first couple syllables. <laughs> had Butterfingers. Oh yeah, Shantae and the half genie hero and the whole nine, where it's like belly dancing is how she unlocks her magical ability. Stop that. Stab in the face! He fucking like finger gunning him to death? Yeah, yeah. It's literally he can't do that, which is the dumbest thing. Mm. No, the dancing activates the transformation by tears. Yeah, no. I know I was grossly oversimplifying it. Oh yeah, this announcer guy does not get paid enough to be here today, so skip! Select order. Mm -hmm. And later. <laughs> oh no, she's going to face her own demons. How unfortunate. Bleh. <laughs> face your demons, son. Some kind of monster is attacking us! It's like verse! This poor announcer guy, he does not get paid enough just to be there, witness all this extra bullshit. <laughs> Just beat arcade mode! Nothing said he just beat arcade mode, or versus telling me, like, hurry up and just beat the thing! Yeah, I don't see you online and streaming, Mr. Man! Oh, hey, P.O. Wolfen is online now, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, serious? <laughs> no, I'm giving you shit. Stop! 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 <laughs> it was too good, man. You gave me too much of a setup. I mean, I'd host him, you know, sitting raid his way. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, we must fight my doppelganger now. <laughs> Let's fight the evil within me. <laughs> Got that Luigi dropkick, fuck. And uh, give me sick. Okay, okay. Well, that looked like a tingle. Just a bit. A wee bit. Oh shit! Come on! Damn it! <laughs> that magic pixel oh. man. <laughs> so I got like one HP. It's like that's oh, enough. And that one HP suddenly becomes like five million whatever amount of HP. Yeah, just that fuck you over. Just to fuck me over. What a stellar fight! These two know how to rumble. Oh, let me, let me spend the next 20 minutes trying to kill like fucking a tenth of an HP. As they continue to bob and weave and get out of the way, like stop dodging and get hit. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are very big on her um, assets, aren't they? I don't know, her outfit looks kind of interesting. <laughs> Enjoying the view. I mean, I might be. <laughs> this is the void. How is it seeping out here? Like, device is looking side to side. Hey, don't look at me, I ain't do shit today. Mm. Today was my day off, I ain't do it. Sound? How could you know this sound? Isn't this like the first time this has happened in centuries, kind of thing? It's not alluded to how old Dolores is, which is hilarious to me. Because it's basically kind of like 
that weird oh I'm the guardian of said very long existing race even though there's so many little bit of us here mm. it's it's the right, dumb little hints in it okay so okay so okay Dolores so she yeah Dolores is a long-standing character or not a long-standing character? Not a long-standing standing character. She was introduced in this series, but it is hinted that she has lived a long time. Why? Right, okay. To actually see this happen before. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. I mean, when KOF does a deep lore dive, they do a deep-ass lore dive for a character. I suppose. I yeah, cause, yeah, because this is her and Isla's debut game. Because like it's hinted that Dolores has already been here long enough, but has not been playable through the through literally this. Like how she just got here? How has she been here for a long time and she just got here? Is my question. Reasons, basically. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting from this, too, is, like, reasons. Like Zosalamel, he's been in Soul Calibur forever, but we finally get to see him and what he's been doing. Like, oh, yeah, he's just been chilling, dude. Well, you mean that time when he was sitting there reading the book? <laughs> just like, oh, I'm over here, like, whose, whose child is this? Mm. Whose sassy lost child is this? Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> yeah. Like, basically, like how most characters have been here in forever and just finally get their actual debut. Because who knows how many more characters they're willing to put into um, KOF. They have a big roster. Mm. I kind of miss the American sports team. I, I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they, they're they literally the joke team. Okay. Everyone, okay be... But they're really good. That's the sad part. Uh. Well, supposedly it was, but Dana Beaky's actually really good. Outside of his own uh, series, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit! I thought she was gonna transform. I just got... Yeah, okay. Magic Pixel strikes again. Yeah. That should be a bingo thing. Magic Pixel. <laughs> it would come up literally every time we fight. There we go. Alright, solving that problem. Yeah, I just had to get one leg sweep in there for the thing mm. to go and lose some bullshit. Uh, but if we can hold Ouch. on to a kill of invitation, they can be up in the Hello, sister. <laughs> Meanwhile, beat the wall. Oh, I don't know why I tried to dash when I know she has a teleport. <laughs> Uh, force of habit, like, oh, boss, she's down, she's down, hurry, hurry! <laughs> Prepare to get stone. Ah, my other half. How I've longed for you. Uh oh. <laughs> Tobias sweating profusely. Oh no. Oh yeah. And immediate fucking, like, 30 on my bar. Butterfingers! Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, I'm boy. boss fighting and bodied. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> and drama just staring at Tobias. Oh, my other half, how I've longed to see you again. Uh oh. <laughs> Tobias profusely sweating. Uh, do I know you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've met biblically, in fact. <laughs> and I went down in a blaze of glory. <laughs> His average is looming. Now I will take my prize. <laughs> Help! Help! Now to take more for your prize. <laughs> Here's a team raid boss mode coming soon. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, you got this. You got this. Drop it. 
Yeah, I, I heard her tactics make your uh, hair stand on it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I try it. She's got a rock hard determination. And eh, try a different one. The quartz is strong with this one. That's a bit on the nose. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, we're through the magic pencil. Yeah. Hooray. Right. <laughs> Goodbye, half my life bar. Goodbye, two thirds of my life bar. Life bar? What's a life bar? Mm -hmm. I can't let you do that, guy. <laughs> Final round. Ready? Ah, oh, good. We're right back where we need to be. More or less. Meanwhile, at the wall. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. My turn. I'll take that life. Give me, give me your life! Your soul. I'm sorry, Andromeda. Go back to your rest. <laughs> your soul is mine. <laughs> Sleep forevermore. <laughs> like, fuck it! Fuck it! I had, to, I had to run a fuck attack. They're like, okay, if I can get a, a single cheap hit in, I can get the life drain going. <laughs> Bop, okay, life drain. Give me your life, give me your life, give me your life, give me your life. <laughs> Give me that sip. <laughs> I mean, I kind of panicked. I mean, as long as it works, right? Because if I can, is it, if I can get the love tap in, life drain. Mm. Just switch to life drain, because KOF has stupid, weird chain combo things that can run to, through together. Mm. Dude, just leave the hair. But I pay so much for it! Bye! <laughs> you know how much this weave cost? Um, your weight in diamonds? You're, oh, you think you're fucking funny, don't you? How <laughs> is your weight in diamonds here? <laughs> Shit. See how fast to take one of these crystals with me before they try- before we get sent back to whatever world. Yo, how much can I get for this? <laughs> Give me that diamond weave. Gee. See me come at it with a fucking pickaxe. What are you gonna do with that? Well, you seem to be made out of some sort of diamond, some diamond-like substance. You and I gonna, you're gonna really hate me for all I'm gonna do to you. Uh, I've been working on the hair all day. <laughs> <laughs> just see me, just see me, just come at it like Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like these, like, oh god, they're totally in some sort of relationship with each other. And this announcer guy does not get paid enough for this shit, so skip. Hmm. Our champions are back! Ah, uh, now for more plot. <laughs> the plot device that is KOF. And we literally beat the game just under the four hour well, this little run through and just under the four hour marker. Mm-hmm. So ha ha <laughs> Still made within the time frame does, more or less. Well being that you know Pokemon's gonna be a four hour adventure tomorrow too, so if not longer. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I do try to fucking, you know, keep in mind about it. Mm. 
<laughs> Say what? Uh, apparently Dolores has a son. There's, there's unions involved? I saw that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop trying to recruit people into your army, guy! <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, God, it pissed me off in like the Street Fighter, um, live Street Fighter movie. So, have you guys thought about, um, recruiting? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you guys thought about, you know, enlisting? No. Get out of my face. Go home, be a family man, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Play SNK heroines. Who agrees a massive perf? He is. <laughs> See you again sometime. Oh yeah, she's gonna go see her not boyfriend crush it love interest of the story. <clears throat> Cause that's where Shune ended up in his ending. Oh yeah, he went to China. I'm like, oh yeah, you can just to China for a bit. Uh-huh. Oh, right. <laughs> I was wondering how long it was gonna take you. I mean, I like that end credits versus the other end credits. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, here's a big list of shit just happening. Mm -hmm. And Isla being a little shit. These With her hands are made for grabbing. And that's just what they'll do. 